What is up and welcome back to my channel for another part of the Sims 3 to Sims 4 series where we are recreating the Sims 3 families and their homes from the Sims 3 and the Sims 4. So today we are recreating Gobias Coffee which is a single male Sim in Sunset Valley. Um, in case you haven't noticed kind of the trend I'm going with as far as this series is I'm doing families couple single sims i'm trying to you know give myself a break so i'm not doing huge families like so many days in a row and like huge houses so yeah we're with our single sim here i don't think we have many single sims left but mr goodbye's coffee is a sim that i'm honestly unfamiliar with or was unfamiliar with obviously i knew who he was in the sims three days but i didn't really play with him wasn't really interested in playing with him and i this is going to sound terrible it really is but the reason why is because i thought he looked like a creeper <laughs> I don't know if it was because of the porn stash or what, but like no offense if your dad or you know anybody that has this mustache. My my best friend, which is basically like my sister in law, my brother in law, you know, once me and my boyfriend get married, which you know we are one day, one day. But anyways, very close to him, love him to death, but he actually has uh, a, a beard like that, or um, not beard, mustache. And it drives everybody crazy. It's just, I don't know, it's just a vibe that, you know, it's just creepy to me. I don't like it. And that's why I just never really played with him in The Sims 3. I just kind of stayed away. He just looked like a creeper. So, obviously, going into creating him in his house, which his house is super cool, a lot of fun to build, but learning about him um, I learned a lot of cool things so let me go ahead and tell you a little bit about him so his biography states that Gobias coffee is a well-meaning single sim who just hasn't met the right woman is this because he actually prefers the company of his male friends so yes it is insinuated or kind of like debated that he might possibly be um, gay or something like that bisexual i don't know um he doesn't have a woman like i said maybe he prefers men i don't know never like confirmed or anything like that but he starts out working as a fertilizer analysis in the scientist's career there's really not much known about his family though his deceased father is gaylord coffee who is buried at pleasant rest graveyard in sunset valley he is 17 days away from becoming an elder he has three points in handiness and four in gardening and he's quite wealthy as you'll see from his house like it's very like modern and it's different and I, like i said it's so much fun to build this house i had a lot of fun building it but yeah he's he's got it going on he's quite wealthy even though you know he doesn't have really a high paying job which yes the scientist career you could make a lot of money in but he is only um a fertilizer analysis which i don't know i don't remember what level that is but i don't think it's too far up there so i don't know if maybe he inherited the money I'm not really sure that's kind of what i would think but his family is one of three in sunset valley to have a special plant in their garden in the beginning of the game the other owners are the langrick and rain white rain right families this may be because he works as a fertilizer analysis allowing him to receive the special plant seeds from his career I don't even know what that plant is, so um, don't ask. I, it's not telling me here on Sims Fandom. But he is also the only playable Sunset Valley Sim who has the Never Nude trait. Skip Javid, an NPC, also has the trait. But yeah, I don't know. There's not much about him, you know? Uh, his personality, his traits is never nude, childish, loser, over-emotional, flirty. His lifetime wish is the jack of all trades. So, um, now that I have, you know, did my research on Goodbye's Coffee, I found out some interesting things about him that, like I said, made me feel kind of bad that I judged him as being a creeper. Because um, that obviously was not <laughs> the Sims team's intentions is to make him look like a pedophile or a creeper or anything like that. Which obviously, but I just, just that's the vibe I got, right? So, anyways, doing my research, this is really cool, really cool, honestly. I found out that Gobias Coffee's name is a reference to the 
actor David Cross's character, Tobias, on the Fox and Netflix show Arrested Development. So, in season one of the series, Tobias and his brother-in-law, Gob, decide to start a business and come up with the name Gobias, as in, go buy us a cup of coffee, hence, go buy us coffee. That's cool. <laughs> Tobias, Tobias's homosexual tendencies and verbal double Intendras caused his sexuality to be questioned throughout the series of the show, and Gobias' sexual orientation is unknown in The Sims. Gobias also shares Tobias' never nude trait, a term coined by the show's writers to describe Tobias' fear of nudity, as he bears a physical resemblance to David Cross, the actor who portrays Tobias in the series. And it is implied that Gobias is homosexual. But, however, he is not played. You know, if you leave him unplayed, he's just, you know, like a, a sim in there, a sim there, a sim there in the background with story progression left on. He actually marries a woman and usually has children. But, yeah, so that was really cool to learn that they actually created him inspired off of a TV show. And so I got curious and I looked it up because I seen where it said Fox slash Netflix show. The show's on Netflix, so it's called Arrested Development, and um, I do believe that they had just started it back up in 2018, season 5, so I, I believe there was it was like 2003, 2006, that it took a break and was picked back up, um, I think, if I'm correct. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, like I said, it's on Netflix, so if you want to go watch it, which I think I'm going to watch a few episodes just to like kind of see um, how they recreated um, Gobias related to Tobias on the show. That's so, so confusing to say, but anyways, I thought that was really, really cool. So if you're interested, it is on Netflix. So if you want to see, um, <laughs> the show and the character that Mr. Gobias Coffee <laughs> was, um, inspired by, that is a really cool fun fact. But yeah, that's pretty much it on him. Like I said, he doesn't have like a huge family. He's not a iconic sim that we see reoccurring in different generations of the game. But I do honestly feel really bad for judging him and you know, kind of like, oh, he's a he's a creeper. But like, it's, he's actually pretty cool. <laughs> he really is. So, anyways, his house, which you know we're almost done with the exterior of it was so much fun to build and I did mention this in my apartment renovation that I did the modern family apartment which was last week. Um, I did mention that I was going to be building a modern house in the next Sims 3 to Sims 4 series which is Go Bias's house and I thought I was going to struggle with it because it just looked really complicated. But it was quite easy, and that's why I love this series so much. I've said it a million times, but I can easily copy a floor plan like this. Like, you know, see it in one generation of the game, you know, take a few screenshots, pictures, and then make it come to life in The Sims 4. It's just so much easier. Um, but I did obviously get a little bit creative and do my own thing when it came to a little bit of the landscaping and, whew, I'm out of breath. <laughs> also, um, the interior of the house, so... Yeah, I don't know. I thought it was a really fun house to build. It's really cool. It is uh, an expensive house. It's kind of a big house. And you probably noticed um, that I started building it on a different lot in Oasis Springs. But I ended up changing it to... Um, actually, we're still here. Yeah, we're still here. I actually end up moving it to another part in Oasis Springs or another lot in Oasis Springs. So... Yeah, the only reason I did that is because this lot was so big that it had, like, a huge backyard. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know really why I decided to change it, but I did. Anyways, moving on. Um, like, I don't know. I just, I, did, I didn't struggle as bad as I thought I would with this house. So, that was shocking. But, it was fun. And, I do apologize that this video is a little bit later than what I usually upload. I've been doing pretty good with my upload schedule recently. Uploading at 2 o'clock, which is central time. Because I am central time. But, um, like, it's currently 2 o'clock right now. And, I'm doing the voiceover. But, I had, like, a busy weekend, just a busy week, you know, didn't have time to do my YouTube grinding like I had planned to, so I'm a little bit behind, but that's okay because I got it done, and I think it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna be okay, but also, quick little update here, okay, if you're familiar with kind of the schedule I have going on on my channel, I usually do The Sims 3 
The Sims 4 series on Tuesdays, which includes like a creative sim and a speed build. And then on Fridays, I usually do like um, a renovation to an EA house, an apartment renovation, or another speed build of my own. Well, this week we are not going to be doing any kind of renovation, speed build, nothing like that because I am about to tackle another Sims 3 to Sims 4 house to recreate and that is the Land Grab family. And if you are familiar with the Land Grab family, in general, they're rich, they're wealthy, and their house in The Sims 3 is huge. It's considered a mansion. It's um, one of the three mansions. So if you saw me struggle with the goth house, uh, that took me a long time to do. It was really hard. I don't know why it was so complicated, just because the house in The Sims 3 was so weird. I had to tweak it to fit The Sims 4, but I'm quite nervous about The Sims um, 3 land grab house. So yeah, don't expect a speedboat or anything like that on Friday. I might possibly do something a little bit different, like a creative sim or a fun little mini challenge or something, because that's something I don't really do. So um, if you have any suggestions on like what you want me to do, like you want to create a sim, do you want to see like a genetic, random genetics challenge, something like that, let me know in the comments down below because I haven't figured it out yet, but that would help me out a lot. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, back to the house here. His yard is my favorite, and I remember when I started this series, I had to go through to all the different houses and see which ones um, had terrain tools, which one had different um, platforms, because you know before we got the update, the terrain and platform update in The Sims 4, whatever you built, you know, as far as like rooms, decks, uh, porches, whatever, in The Sims 4, it was always going to be the same level. So when we got that update, we're able to, obviously, like you saw, I was able to build his house with no platform, but I was able to use the platform tool to make that little deck out back behind the pool. So I thought that was really cool. So I specifically waited this long to build his house after the update um, because I, I just knew I wanted to... I wanted to make it as accurate as possible. I think that's like a really cool little feature, a little deck there. Forever waiting on the day that we get some kind of tropical. I mean, we got seasons and the whole sun tanning thing and lawn chairs and, you know, lounge chairs outside didn't come with seasons. But I'm hoping that maybe we'll get like a tropical or something like that because that's a world we don't have yet. Longing for the day we get that in The Sims 4 and we'll be able to sunbathe. They're actually give us like beach chairs or pool chairs so we can lay out by the pool. I mean, you can obviously do as I did and make one with, you know, different furniture and get a little creative. But it's just not the same because they're going to sit on it like a regular chair. They're not going to lounge on it, which that's no fun. So, yeah, I'm definitely waiting on that. <laughs> But anyways, we're into the interior of his house, and I cut out the floor plan and me trying to figure out what theme I really wanted to go for in his house because the interior of his house was interesting. It was modern, don't get me wrong, um, but the color scheme was interesting. It was like gray, then blue, then it had like some wood and yellow, and it just looked funky, didn't flow, wasn't a fan. So I decided to go for like the gray black modern theme as you'll see throughout the house but I use the gray tile flooring and the concrete walls which <laughs> it reminds me of my good friends the Simpanions here on YouTube they build a lot of modern houses and I always call them the queens of modern houses because they do such a great job at modern houses so if you're a fan of speed builds and stuff like that go check out the Simpanions but I've seen so many of their builds where they use the concrete walls and the concrete concrete floors and I'm like wow I've never really wanted to live in a concrete house until I saw y'all speed builds so yeah that's kind of where I got the idea to do the concrete walls and everything so shout out to them but I think it turned out nice so y'all y'all really helped me make up my mind there because I was struggling for a little bit and then y'all just crossed my mind and I just had to copy you <laughs> but anyways um, you see those lights I put there I'm gonna delete them in a few minutes because I feel like they were hanging too low like it just wasn't realistic you know I just feel like it was too low I think that's for like the medium wall heights so I'd end up deleting them but anyways <laughs> this house um, does only have one bedroom because it is for a one sim family it's a big house um, you could definitely tweak it 
add more bedrooms if you wanted to but a really cool thing about this house like once we get upstairs as you'll see there's like a balcony that overlooks the kitchen and the living room from upstairs so i think that's why there's only one bedroom and the one bedroom is like octagonal or is it i don't know one two three four five is it wait one i don't know i'm not good with my shapes <laughs> anyways you don't know what i'm talking about when you see it so it's a pretty big room so i had to um I had to tweak it a little bit and try to figure out how I was going to use up all that space because y'all know me. I get intimidated by the big spaces. And I don't know if you... Okay, this house is available for a download on the gallery, of course. But I don't know if you're going to have the same problem that I had, okay? I built the house, finished it, furnished it, looked good, stopped recording, uploaded it to the gallery immediately because I finished it the same day I'm uploading the video. And then I had to, you know, log out of my Sims or whatever, for whatever reason, and went back in to take the screenshots of the house to edit into the video. And... For some reason, I got upstairs to his bedroom where I had his desk, and his desk was gone, the computer was gone, the chair was gone, all the surrounding things by the desk was there, but the desk and chair and the computer was gone, and I didn't delete it. I don't know how that happened. I don't know if it's because I didn't have move objects on. I don't know if that's something that you guys have a problem with. A I don't know if it's a glitch or if there's some kind of trick tip that I'm not familiar with. If you know, let me know because like I said, I don't know. It could just be a glitch, but I've had that happen quite a few times where I build a house, I upload it to the gallery, and then I go back in to take screenshots and something's missing and I'm like, where, where did it go? Like, I hope to goodness that when it's uploaded to the gallery, you download it and it's there because you're going to be like, what? <laughs> I'm so confused, like me too, I don't know. But anyways, <laughs> I did include a laundry room in his house because most of you have given me the feedback I wanted and told me that you don't mind me adding in the laundry rooms and stuff because you like to play with laundry as well and it's realistic. So I've been having to do that, which hasn't been a hard task because like I said, most of these houses are like really big and the rooms are very spacious. EA houses tend to be that way for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> they're just huge rooms and they're just ratchet. They don't fill them up well. So anyways, it's not hard for me to go in there and tweak a floor plan, tweak a bathroom, and make a little laundry room addition to it. So yeah, that's what I did. And he now has a laundry room. <laughs> and um, he has a downstairs bathroom, which is really nice. I tried to obviously go for the modern look in the house, but I wanted it to be very like materialistic looking because he is considered a wealthy sim in the sims 3 um so i don't know i just i imagine that he would have a wealthy looking house like materialistic stuff it wouldn't just be thrown together because i mean look at the exterior of his house like <laughs> this man's got it going on like his house is awesome i love his house but here's here's the room i was talking about let's see let's count together one two three four five six seven eight so i was right octagonal <laughs> I, I doubted myself for a second because i didn't want to look silly but yeah this is an octagonal bedroom which is interesting you know they like to they tend to do that make interesting shapes and rooms <laughs> and it's big it's big so i pro tip i've said this in a past few speed builds if you need to use some of your space just add in a closet so i was able to do that and it saved me um, a wall right there to later add something in a new activity or something so i just gave him a closet there i put a bookshelf in there and like i said i gave him a desk and for the most part the room is still very spacious <laughs> and um and whatnot but i didn't want to like overdo it you know I, it's, it's a big room it's just going to be spacious but i did try to like cover the walls with activities like not activities <laughs> like the computer and the bookshelf and the closet and everything but either way i think it turned out really nice proud of this house i'm just impressed that i didn't struggle with a modern house for once <laughs> um but the land grab house i'm doing next that's a whole nother story so keep me in your thoughts and good vibes my way keep me in your prayers because it's a big house and it's one of those ea houses as i've said a million times already that is just huge okay it's unnecessarily huge the rooms are unnecessarily huge and it's just 
drives me crazy because I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this space? Like, I can't stand it. So I'm about to tackle that. So like I said, just keep me in your thoughts and stay tuned for next week. Hopefully next week I should have it done. I think I will. Um, I'm actually going to have a lot more free time this weekend to build and keep up on you know, my YouTube stuff and recording and editing the past few weekends, which is why I've been kind of behind this week because I've been going out of town with my boyfriend because you know we're from the south and he likes to hunt so I go to the hunting camp with him just to like be with him and spend time with him oh it's the last week of hunting season so I'm back to where I can have my weekends and my sim time <laughs> but anyways we are done with the speed build and here are the screenshots of the house like I said it is available for download on the gallery so is go buy us coffee <laughs> so if you want to download him go check it out and if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you have not and with all that being said I will talk to you guys later bye